I did you a favor. I hope you appreciate it. Before I begin, I want to clear something up. So I think there was some confusion. If you check out this uh, comment here, someone seemed to be confused that if I claim that these are private offline AI models, why then is there something to be downloaded from an external website? It's because you have to get the AI model onto your computer before you can run it. So once you download it, it's completely offline and private and it runs off of your GPU. The exception to the rule are any models that require a hugging face login or any models that require the setting trust remote code. But as long as it does not require a hugging face login or does not require trust remote code setting, then that means it's completely private and offline after you download it. Sad Talker is an open source project I found on GitHub that uses 3D motion coefficients. I'm not really big on algorithms and machine learning. I'm an end user, so I don't really know like all the science behind it. I just know that this is an AI avatar system you can run on your own computer. It will give you AI talking avatars that look something along these lines. The way it works is that it uses a picture and animates it. It also takes an audio file of talking and aligns the talking up with the movement of the mouth of the AI avatar. That requires that you already have audio pre-recorded. Getting this to work was really hard because the program is pretty broken. It requires an older version of Python, an older version of Anaconda. It has some broken Python code in one of the scripts. It can mess up the environment variables and it needs a better launching program. So what I did was stayed up until five in the morning so you don't have to. I worked through all the dependencies and code bugs and I figured out how to actually make it work. And instead of bogging you down with all this step-by-step, -step, I created a script that's going to let you just run it in one shot and get this installed. To download the script that I made, you can use wget and type in the address. I'll have a link in the description. Put that in and press enter and it'll download the script. The next thing you have to do is chmod plus x sadtalker.sh to make it executable. Then type source sadtalker.sh so it will run the conda environment in the active shell and not the subshell. This part should take about 10 or 15 minutes depending on your computer, so just be patient. Now you'll see that we're in a conda environment in the sadtalker directory. Now type source run.sh and you can run this anytime from the sadtalker directory. You have to wait like a minute or two and then it will load up the server. Now you can see the server is running on 127.0.0.1 on port 7860. So the first thing you do is click on this area where it says to select audio, pick your MP3 that has talking, could be you talking, could be someone else, could be AI voice synthesis. Then the next thing you do is you pick out an image from here and put it in. It should just be a person's face. There's a way to do it with a full body, but it's more complicated. I like to select for model face resolution 512 because it looks a little more clear. You click generate. And wait, the longer the audio is, the longer it takes to generate. I'm doing a short one here. You can also open up the terminal and you can take a look at the progress it's making. Now that we have our avatar loaded up, let's figure out how it sounds. I am a talking avatar of greatness and stuff. I can see why this is called Sad Talker. The quality is pretty sad and it's really primitive, but it was not a waste of time making a video about it because this is really just scratching the surface of this type of technology and the ability to run it on your home computer. I plan on doing this channel as a long-term endeavor. Even when this type of thing, whether it's an LLM or a text to video model or whatever, I'm going to continue tracking the advancements in open source artificial intelligence technology from a, what I call a middle user perspective, where I and this community watching this channel are typically not developers, and are not necessarily average end users. We're computer tech people, we're into open source, we like computers, and we're just one of the people in a specific group of users. I have noticed there are developers watching this channel too, which I think is cool. Uh, if there's anything that you feel you can gain or insight, that's awesome, keep watching. So thanks for watching. I appreciate you watching this through all the way to the end. Please subscribe so that you can go on this ride with me and we can learn more about open source AI technology as it unfolds and advances in the future. I really appreciate your support and I'll see you in the next video.